that side here. And there I'll have some more black a wash that's a little more concentrated because this is all in shadows, including that chest piece. And I will even put some black wash on these gold parts and these metal parts because these are very much in shade in shadows. That shoe as well needs some black. It's really down there. Perhaps a little on the monster face, but not, not too much, because I still want to see the monster face. I, I like the monster face. It has a big eye here. I don't know. So, yes, uh, I think uh, more black here. All over. There. <laughs> now, I think. Um, I think we'll paint, before touching up the black, I think we'll paint some highlights and some details. Highlighting the armor should be a, an absolute piece of cake. I'll grab some ivory because I like warm highlights. Some of you may think that ivory is a bit clear, perhaps, for that sort of thing. They would be wrong. Ivory, or Menoth White Highlight, or Bleached Bone, or whatever you use. Even if it has to be white plus yellow. Ivory is this color. And it is a color that is, uh, it gives a little warmth to the highlights, make them seem closer. And uh, make them seem less chalky, less crisp and less um, subdued, um, less um, passé than, than, the, than the white, uh, the pure white. So I'll get my black and periscope mix, that's here, and I'll put a little ivory in that. And we'll have a nice greyish tint to highlight the parts of our armor that need highlighting. Mainly here. And, and we'll use it very sparingly, don't worry. I'm mindful of the of the light, where the light comes from, you know. That's why I did some pre-shading, so I'd have a guide as to where the light comes from. And now I'm using that. I'll put a little more ivory in my mix. Because I'm whimsical that way. Yes. And now, as um, uh, some sort of, um, I don't think that the leg needs highlighting. Although, let me check. Oh yes, this part needs highlighting. Later on, as a sort of um, enrichment of the color, I think I'll grab a bit of uh, the red, the whole red. And I'll do a few washes here and there. There. 
I think that needs highlighting slightly because it's ever so on top of things and I think I'll highlight the foot a little but it doesn't seem to well maybe on on the side then doesn't seem to require too much work still I've highlighted it too much I will therefore do another wash of the black plus periscopes color with perhaps a tinge of the highlight color here on top to again do some sort of attenu attenuation of the whole thing well we'll let it dry and we'll come back to it perhaps now I think I'll have a light wash of the whole red here on this part that didn't need really highlighting I'll just do the whole red here becomes slightly purplish and, and I like that. Now on that shoulder pad I'm not afraid of overstepping on the gold because the gold likes that. The gold likes the whole purplish thing. That's perhaps a little too much water in my mix. I will absorb the excess and put a little more paint back on. Oh, I think gold deserves a little more red here and there. Mixing these uh, warm tones and these cold tones and these uh, different colors enriches your blacks very much. Oh. It's a little bit of dust, I'll remove it. Here we are. Oh, I've overstepped on the skull. Never mind, we'll paint it later on. It's a nice rich black, isn't it? If you want more highlights, you could always edge a little with, uh, with ivory, but I don't think that's necessary, really. Now I think we'll paint those nice little details we were talking about. Uh, I'm going to use um, this. Uh, this is uh, some sort of orange, reddish orange, very reddish orange. This is amaranth red, uh, rouge amaranth, amaranth red, uh, number eight two nine or one three zero in the Vallejo model color catalog. I think you can replace it with some sort of fiery orange or brick red. I happen to like it. I find it uh, slightly preferable to um, the, the more um, subdued, the more desaturated oranges. I'll simply do uh, a wash of that on the little eye here. I've overstepped a little here. Never mind, I'll absorb the paint that's in the recess. And I'll, I think I'll do that here as well. On this eye, I've painted it gold, but I think the red, amaranth, amaranth red, is uh, still going to, yes, st still fine. Do it on the, on the eyes of the little monsters here. Monster, sorry. There's only one of them. Right. 
what else is uh, that sort of color? Oh, well, there's, there's another eye here. Well, I'll do that one here. Uh, not, oh dear. How can I? Yes, I think that will be okay to show you. I'll put a little more on this eye. This one here. So have to so as to have a, a more vivid coat. Here. We'll continue on with some red. This will be not the no, not that one. I think uh, yes, the scorn red. Scorn red from P three. It is a darker red. I think there's a foundry paint from uh, Games Workshop that's a bit like that. Um, it's a darker, a li little tarnished. Darker red, a little tarnished. It will emanate from the center of the eye. There. Mm -hmm. Same thing here. And on the other one, I'm sure there's plenty of eyes here and there on this miniature. Don't, I'm not going to, to look for them all. There. I think this one deserves a, a little bit more amaranth red. could conceivably replace it with a fiery orange from P3, blazing orange from Games Workshop. Yes, a little more of the amaranth here. And now a little bit of yellow. What do I have as a uh, yellow? Hmm. Well, you know what, I think I'll use this one. It's as good as any, it's de demonic yellow. It's a bit thin to my taste. The demonic yellow from the army painter is a bit, bit thin. But then again, no, no more than the uh, Citadel yellow. I don't remember the exact name. There it is, there, here, the yellow. Still, not the equivalent of some of the other tones. I'm putting some yellow on the side here as a as a wash. I wish to tint the sides of the eye. Not that I have any choice in the matter with this yellow, by the way, because it's so thin. If I ever wanted to use it even uh, as, a, as a highlight, it would be quite transparent. See, it doesn't really mark as much as I'd want. It's a problem in most yellows, I think it's the pigment necessary for these colors that's a bit uh, well not not too easy to work with I'll add a little ivory 
to my yellow it will give it more pizzazz yes so it does and now I'll put a little more yellow as a wash over that better still that has somewhat ruined the layer of amaranth red that we had unfortunately with the amaranth red I'll go over it once more here there we have a nice little gradient from the yellow it's flamey and menacing yes we'll do pretty much the same here only probably a little less carefully because oh dear it's in the shadows that's too much water and a bit of dust right we'll do the other one first wait for this one to dry I'm absorbing the excess that has come into the recesses we do not want that put a little bit more of the amaranth red here there fantastic little bit of the red in the middle yeah the scorn red and perhaps a little a bit of yellow on the sides if I can manage it and if the red hasn't gone everywhere already there interesting I think I'll put a little black dot here yes not too bad I think just put a little red around it this eye of Sauron thing is, is quite nice. Eye of chaos, should I say, rather. It's pretty much the same thing, really. Just bad guys. Well, I think a little more red here. Yes, much more fun. Yeah, I think that's probably as good as it gets without a uh, much finer brush. So I'll do that here. That little slit. Oh, still too much water. Never mind, it'll dry at some point and we'll do it later on. Now, Since it needs to dry, I think we'll let it dry for a bit and then we'll come back. Mm -hmm.